In this example, we will write the length of each line segment using imperial units. Before we begin, let's take a look at how an imperial ruler is used. The inch is subdivided into 16 ticks. Sixteen ticks can be difficult to read, so different tick lengths are used to indicate important benchmarks. This tick represents one-eighth of an inch. This tick represents one-quarter of an inch. And this tick represents one-half of an inch. Now we'll move on to part A. This line segment is two and a half inches. Now we'll move on to part B. This line segment is three quarters of an inch. Now we'll move on to part C. This line segment is two and three eighths of an inch. Now we'll move on to part D. This is three and fifteen sixteenths of an inch. Now we'll move on to part E. The beginning of the line segment is at 7 eighths of an inch. The end of the line segment is at 2 and 7 sixteenths of an inch. Convert each reading to a regular fraction and subtract. Two and seven sixteenths can be written as 39 over 16. Seven over eight is already a regular fraction. Get a common denominator. Subtract the fractions to get 25 over 16. As the mixed number, this is one and nine sixteenths of an inch. Since this is a short line segment, we could alternatively get the answer by counting it out. We can identify one inch by jumping 16 ticks from the starting tick. There are another nine ticks to go before reaching the end of the line segment. Add these together to get one and nine sixteenths of an inch.